What's up YouTube? So I'll be explaining in just a moment why I'm wearing a tank with my face on it. First, three updates about things that have been happening to me recently in my life. So if you've been around here for a while, you're probably aware that I'm an amputee. And also I'm a motivational speaker, which means I travel a lot for work. And if you do a lot of flying these days, you're probably aware that seats in the coach class cabin don't have a lot of leg room. So a couple weeks ago I had boarded the flight, I was sitting in my seat watching the final episodes of Breaking Bad on my iPhone and oh my gosh, but that's a totally different discussion. A guy comes in, he sits behind me, obviously he hadn't noticed me, and he turns to the guy sitting beside him and he's like, man, these seats are made for people who don't have legs. And I was like, wow, you are gonna feel so bad when the plane lands and I stand up and you see that I am a guy who doesn't have a leg. Event number two, I was recently walking on the sidewalk and I saw a three-legged dog and we stared at each other. Like, I was staring at the dog like, man, look at that dog, he's so inspirational, the way he gets around without his leg, and the dog was looking at me like, oh my gosh, are you my master? Like, are we related in some way? Should I escape this owner and go, and I feel like the owner was giving me a nasty look like, People stare at my dog and you, as a fellow amputee, should know better than to stare at my dog. Number three, I was recently at a theme park with Ashley and I sat down on a ride and the girl sitting beside me was someone I had never seen before and she turned to me and she said, Hello, stranger. Which made me realize that no one actually ever uses that phrase when talking to actual strangers. Like 100% of the time when you say, hello stranger, you actually mean it ironically. Like, hello stranger, which I actually mean best friend. So when she said, hello stranger, and I was like, well, we actually are strangers. I'm thinking, are you gonna murder me now? This feels really creepy. Speaking of really creepy, let's talk about why I'm wearing my face on a tank. So by the time you see this, I might even already be married, but on the day that I'm recording, Recording it, I just got back from my bachelor party. We went on a six day cruise to Bermuda. Here's a super fly picture of all the guys who went with me. Pictured as you can see, of course, is myself, my brother Matt sporting the man bun, my brother Luke who still hasn't learned how to fly, my college roommate Brad who longtime viewers might recall dates a girl who was once listed in my phone as shut up, my college roommate Danny who longtime viewers will recall is the guy who once completed a Spider-Man kiss with a total stranger on the metro. My childhood and lifelong friend John Gu, who happened to be the one who filmed that Spider-Man kiss on the metro. And Michael, brother of Ashley, my bride-to-be, who is not only very good looking, he's an excellent woodworker who built a bunch of farm tables for our wedding. I know he's good looking because he's related to Ashley and Ashley's super hot. Side note, Michael can build custom furniture for you, Google Eastern Shore farm tables. Probably the highlight of the cruise was cliff jumping in Bermuda. Here is a picture of me doing a very terrified and lame looking pencil dive off of a cliff. And here's a montage of Michael doing way more awesome and might I say flipping awesome jumps off several cliffs around the island. Another highlight of the cruise was Big Lebowski Night inspired by the timeless Jeff Daniels movie in which we all wore these white terry cloth robes, put on sunglasses, and went to every bar on our cruise ship and drank white Russians. If you've ever been on a cruise you know it's 99% retirees. This happened to be formal night so all the old people are hanging out in their formal wear and we would roll up wearing our terry cloth robes and cause quite a lot of um questions. But of course we got the most questions when we walked around the cruise all wearing matching tank tops with my face on them. The tanks also had a list of all of our names on the back. And people would come up to us and sometimes they'd be like, oh are you guys a bachelor party? Or oftentimes people would just recognize me even when I wasn't wearing the tank like, hey I think I saw your name on a tank. These tanks were designed in collaboration between Matt, my best man, and Francine who you'll recall designed this save the date for our wedding and this amazing logo for our menus at the wedding. Francine is one of my most long time and loyal YouTube viewers, so shout out to you, Francine. But the hilarious thing would be that people often didn't know what the tanks were, but instead of asking what kind of group are you guys, they would just assume some kind of group and ask if we were that. And the rule we made was, no matter what they asked, we would say yes. So one time on a beach in Bermuda, someone came up and was like, hey, are you guys an acapella group? And John Goo was like, as a matter of fact, we are. Uh... And someone else was like, uh... -huh. And I was like, 
Why do you fill me up, fill me up, buttercup, baby, just to let me down, let me down? People were like, are you guys a volleyball team? And we were like, yes we are, bump set spike. And because we were hitting up the dance floor every single night on the cruise, people asked if we were some kind of dance troupe, to which we would be like, uh, uh, uh. Break it down, yeah, one, two, one, two. Anyway, I'm so lucky to have such an amazing group of friends that I could hang out with sometime, and by sometime, I mean a 144 hour bachelor party on a cruise to Bermuda. A-M-P-U-T-E-E, -E, 